Hello to all. In spite of a volatile global environment, bond markets posted remarkable performances in 2012. Will it be the same in 2013? To answer this question, we invited Kud Mandemal, Global Head of Fixed Income at Dexia Asset Management. Queen, hello. Hello. Thank you very much uh, for being with us today. So do you think uh, that bonds will do as well in 2013 as they did in 2012? Well, um, I'm afraid we can't expect to repeat the same excellent returns that we have seen over the last couple of years in bonds again. Doing so would require the yields to decline substantially to negative levels almost everywhere, which is not very realistic to us. One should know that bond levels uh, bond yield levels are a combination of real yields and expected inflation and these two elements are expected to remain low for the coming years so I think investors should start to learn to live with a low, a persistent low yield environment. And will the austerity in Europe will have an impact? Well yes indeed because real yields is linked to uh, growth, economic growth within the eurozone and the economic growth we expect it will remain low and so the interest rates will remain low as well. And what do you think about sovereign bonds? Well, the actions of the European Central Bank clearly are a milestone in the resolution of the Eurozone crisis. The announcement of the OMT programme clearly has been very much needed and has gained some time to solve the Eurozone crisis. But the OMT in itself is not the solution of the crisis. It's now up to the authorities to implement structured measures to restore the internal imbalances within the Eurozone and it's also to look and complete the construction of the monetary union with a kind of banking union and a kind of fiscal solidarity. So you are rather optimistic for 2013? Well, we expect that some progress will be made in these kind of directions, but only at a frustratingly slow pace. So overall, logically, this would mean that on the one hand, the yields on Italian and Spanish bonds should decline. And on the other hand, the yields on the German bonds would rise slightly because the tail risk will disappear. And what do you think about corporate bonds? Well, the yields on corporate bonds are, have been declining enormal, enormously and are today even lower than the average yield on, on, on government bonds, European government bonds. And unmistakably, one can say that corporate bonds are expensive today, especially compared to the macroeconomic outlook for the Eurozone. But the attractiveness of corporate bonds can only be correctly assessed if you look at the other available investments in the bond market around. And knowing that yields will remain low, for a longer period, well, the demand for corporate bonds will persist because investors will chase for the extra carry. And that's the reason why corporate bonds are expensive today, but we expect them to remain expensive over the coming uh, months. And on top of that, there are some new regulations on the markets. What will be their impact? Well, the impact clearly for the regulation, especially on the banking sector, is to reduce the probability of a default within the financial sector. That in itself is good news for a bondholder. It's much less good news for the equity holder because the capital buffer will be increased. But for the bondholder point of view, it's definitely good news. Do you have uh, any other ideas on the fixed income space? Yes, especially regarding emerging market bonds. It's our long-term belief that investing in emerging market bonds is still an attractive opportunity. Emerging countries have higher economic growth and aren't burdened with a high level of debt. So the value of emerging bonds should still further increase. And secondly, one could look at currencies. One could invest in, in a basket of emerging market currency or even in, in the US dollar because we expect that the euro over the coming months should decline slightly knowing that economic growth in the eurozone will be fairly low. So what risks do you see that could impact your scenario? Well, we clearly identify two major risks. First one is the economic growth could be much lower than expected due to the austerity within the eurozone and the deleveraging. It will impact the consumer and the uh, business sentiment and that could end up in a severe recession. And that in itself won't help the peripheral eurozone countries to grow out of their debt burden and it won't help companies to repay their debt. And more and more political decisions are ruling the market now, right? Exactly. That's the second risk that we identify is that political issues and decisions dominate financial markets nowadays and it's by definition these political issues tend to be less predictable than economic evolution so one might expect some surprises from the political side in 2013 uh, and then we should need to react to that. Queen, thank you very much for those uh, explanations on the fixed income markets. We look forward to seeing you very soon for another roundup on bond markets. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.